As cases of COVID-19 rise in Metro Detroit, doctors are urging people to protect themselves. Starting today, the city of Detroit will offer a COVID test to treat clinic, providing on-site testing evaluations and antiviral medication to those who test positive. CW50's April Morton has more. With COVID-19 cases back on the rise in Southeast Michigan, what are local doctors saying? And should there be a concern over a possible surge? Once again, Southeast Michigan, a hot spot for COVID cases. According to the Center for Disease Control, Macomb, Oakland, Wayne, Livingston, and Washtenaw counties, all under a high community COVID transmission level. I kind of expected this to happen. Um, you know, COVID's not going away. Um, it comes and goes in cycles. Um, Sometimes the cycles are worse, sometimes they're not as bad. As of Monday morning, Beaumont Health has nearly 240 COVID patients in their hospitals. And Dr. Sims says they've seen cases double in the past two weeks. The numbers are still relatively low, but they're not, you know, they're, they're heading in the wrong direction. Henry Ford Health is reporting 100 patients currently hospitalized with COVID, a number that has also gone up recently. They say a couple of things are to blame for the surge. Omicron subvariant, it's called BA.2.121. This caused a surge in New York State. It was a new variant for the United States, and we're now seeing that here. He says more people were also exposed to the virus, with recent mask mandates being lifted and people gathering for Mother's Day and spring break. Starting today to help curb COVID case numbers in the city of Detroit, they're offering the Test to Treat program. Residents who test positive will be evaluated, then given an antiviral treatment. Test to Treat is by appointment only only and will take place at the Joseph Walker Williams building on Rosa Parks Boulevard Monday through Friday. Doctors say they aren't sure if large crowds this summer will cause another surge, but encourages everyone, especially if you're ill, to wear masks and crowds. April Morton, CW50 News at 10.